Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's video was prompted by a question from Bill Whitaker. He has an ICOM 7300, as do a lot of people, and he was wondering if there is a mod where he could put a receive-only antenna on that. He has a flagpole antenna in his very heavily covenant-controlled neighborhood and thinks he could possibly mount a receive-only antenna like the MFJ-1886 uh, up in a place where it'd be inconspicuous but perhaps get better reception than his flagpole does. So I thought I'd take a look at that. He mentioned a couple devices uh, that are available from DX Engineering and I have a couple more thoughts here uh, to add to that because this is something that some of you may want to do, may like to have that extra receive antenna. Now we did something to the 7300 um, oh a few months ago where uh, I put in a modification that was suggested to me by Hoggies uh, that allowed the 7300 to feed an SDR radio without interfering with the operation of the 7300. And that used a little opening on the back of the radio to work. Now I will mention that this item from DX Engineering uses that same opening. So one or the other. Uh, what the one does is you use a regular antenna and it splits off the receive part for a software defined receiver. This is a little different. It uses the regular antenna for transmit, but it will use a separate antenna for receive. A, an antenna that you can put in a quieter location or something like that. There are sometimes situations where it's easy to transmit from one place, but it's very noisy. So you put a receive only antenna in a different location because receive only antennas don't have to be as well matched and so on. So let's take a look at some charts here and then we'll come back and talk about a few more things. The item that Bill mentioned that I take a look at is from DX Engineering and it's this INRAD RX7300 receive only input modification kit called the RX7300. And this little device, you get a little bit bigger view of it here. Um, this part over here is inside the radio. This part out here is on the back. And the way it uh, works is you uh, connect up your receive only antenna right here using a phono plug. Okay. Now, if you want to use, the reg use it the regular way, you put this thing in so that the transmitted, um, the, this connects to the transmit antenna as well, okay? So you can change from a receive-only antenna, which you have connected to this bottom port right here, to just using the transmit antenna, but you have to put this, uh, this loop in right here. Here's what it looks like on the back of the radio. Um, and again, you see we're using up that little space that we used earlier to put in a um, software-defined software defined radio output. So you've got a choice, one or the other. You, you can't do both here. Um, now, DX Engineering points out that there's this statement from the INRAD manual. Please note that large transmit signals, even possibly your own, have the capability to damage a transceiver. The receive input on the ICOM 7300 is diode protected, but we also recommend the use of a front end protection circuit. Well, as it turns out, DX Engineering just happens to have one for sale. The RG5000 HD Receiver Guard Electronic RF Limiter. Okay. Let's take a look at what that is. This is a $100 item right here that goes in line with your uh, receive-only antenna to protect it from, uh, to protect the transceiver from any transients from the, from the transmitter. Now, considering that the original device is $40 and you have to add 100 to get a nice little protecting circuit, 
that I'm not convinced is absolutely necessary, but these people seem to think it is. Um, I want to look at a couple uh, possibilities. First of all, let's look at the MFJ 1886 loop. This is the round loop. This is the one the, the bear got in the backyard, either the bear or Bigfoot got in the backyard. Um, and you can get this thing with a switch on the thing that is a transmit receive switch. So it will short this out uh, during the time that you are transmitting. And that comes for another 50 bucks or so. Here is a competing loop. This is the W6LVP amplified receive only mag loop. So far the same as the MFJ one, but you can get this one with a transmit receive switch, which will protect the antenna for $345. So compare the difference. Here's one without, one with. You're actually cheaper going with something like this that has that receive only uh, uh, switch out here. So you're only feeding one cable to the transmitter. This is what it looks like. This goes out to your receive antenna and it will put the 12 volts on it uh, because the um, uh, the bias T is built in. Okay, and this goes to the radio, this goes to the transmit antenna. So you can operate it down here, you can switch between modes very simply by uh, changing that switch. Okay, so we took a good look at it. This, by the way, is the W6 LVP antenna. One of the nice things about this antenna is that it folds up so it can be flat and you can put this in a you know a go kit or something like that uh, it shows three here it's actually only one loop it's the same size as the MFJ loop but it uh, it folds up whereas the MFJ loop is fixed in its size let me show you this is the MFJ loop and it's got the little preamp down here. I'm waiting for a part to fix this. And it ships this way as a solid loop. And it is very sturdy. The, the other antenna, the W6LVP loop, um, doesn't come with a mounting stand or anything, but these are standard sized PV, P, PVC pipes. Now, one thing to point out uh, both of these need a mast of some sort. Both of them could do well with a small rotator uh, because these antennas do have, if you look at the antenna this way, end on, this is where the receive direction is. This out this way and this this way is a null. And you can use that null to tune out uh, stations that are interfering or broadcast station that's overwhelming your receiver or something like that. I should point out that I have the bias T here. I have the bias T here for the uh, W6LVP antenna. This is the one that is just receive only. Uh, the one I showed you on the internet uh, has the device that will protect the receiver uh, when it's transmitting. The W6LVP receive only antenna was reviewed in Ask Dave number 74, and the MFJ was reviewed in Ask Dave number 67. So you can find those. So, what we've done here today is looked at some options for using a receive only antenna uh, with the uh, 7300 without having to modify anything. We've got the option from DX Engineering, um, and it will uh, allow you to just do that right in the radio. And we've got the, uh, and, uh, and DX Engineering sells an optional filter in there to, to help protect the antenna. Or you could just go with one of the receive only antennas that has that same function built in. So you can use your regular antenna when you want to, and you can use the receive only loop antenna when you want to. So there are options. 
So, thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please subscribe. Also, please look at decastlercom slash support for different ways you can help fund this channel. And until we next meet, 73.